This next episode of Overworked History is about Fugo, the Japanese balloon bombs of World War II. In the middle of World War II, the Japanese discovered an air current ran from Japan to the United States western coast. They decided to weaponize this unique feature by floating bombs to the US. While the bombs could cause limited damage, their true value was the element of fear. The project was launched in 1942, and they were called Fugo. The bombs were floated by 33-foot balloons made of lightweight, handmade paper. The bombs contained sensors, triggering devices, and the bombs themselves. Some balloons carried incendiary devices. As they floated across the sea, they were said to look like jellyfish. The Fugo were first released from Japan in 1944. Bombs were found in Wyoming, Mexico, and Michigan. By the next year, 9,000 had been launched, but only 1,000 ever reached the United States. After a Fugo landed in Montana without exploding, government personnel were able to determine their origin and purpose. So as not to frighten the public about balloon attacks, news organizations were asked not to report about the Fugo. On May 5, 1945, a minister in Bly, Oregon, named Archie Mitchell, and his pregnant wife Elsie, went on a picnic with their church Sunday school. Elsie and five children went to scout for a site to picnic, when they found a wrecked bomb. One of them touched the bomb, and all six were killed. They are the only known Fugo casualties. They are also the only civilians killed by an enemy on U.S. soil. Once the war was over, the government allowed stories about the Fugo to be published in newspapers. Since then, many unexploded bombs have been found. The most recent discovery came in 2014, when the Fugo was found in British Columbia. The Fugo were never meant as a weapon, but as a way to scare civilians, who remain a unique part of World War II's history. Thank you.